I'm in strike. Lee, I was the head of the strike thing in 1973, I think. Uh, one of those big strikes. But what I was trying to say is, we never got anything. We never got anything. Starting in from 1933, I was, you know, without striking, without sacrificing, without fighting for our rights, and gradually by doing this, we have over the years acquired a certain number of benefits, which are all normal in a civilized world, and a certain number of benefits. And now, they're at the point where they come to the table and they won't even talk to us about it. We don't know where our profits are coming. We have to wait a couple of years, put everything on hold, and they won't even talk. And they wouldn't even come back to the table until the guild took an overwhelming strike vote, so then they agreed to come back to the table. But they're still not really negotiating very much. And we've got to hang in, because it's the only way since 1933 that writers have gotten whatever they have to this day. And the people, and I, it's not producers, but it's studios, it's corporations, that should be remembered. And you just have to hang in. And the other thing, I, like there's been a lot of talk about the 1988 strike, and how we went out for five months, and everybody lost money, and the whole thing was a disaster. The fact is, by 1988, they, they came to the bargaining and negotiating table not to negotiate, but to demand givebacks. And the one thing the strike did do is prevent giving back the givebacks. So it was not that kind of a loss. And now that they're doing the same shit, and uh, yeah, you, you, you just got to fight for it, that's all. That's the only way anybody's ever gotten anything. How did this country get started? We fought. We had a revolution. How, how many strikes have you How many strikes have you been through? Well, since I was uh, in... 73, 81, 83. I, I don't know if there was a strike or a strike to write in 69 when I got here. But I was at that one, and I was at the 1988 one. I was here picketing a couple of weeks. I was at Fox with my wife and my dog, <laughs> who had a red banner. <laughs> and so all the people you're out there are still walking the line, huh? Well, shit, you got to. I mean, as long as I can stand up, I am 89. And I can't stand up every minute, every so It's inspiration for the... 35-year-olds are out there yeah, oh, feeling they can't them. walk the line. It's for them. And it's always for the next generation. It really is, in a sense. But they're all the young guys. I hear that I hear that one-third of the writers nowadays haven't, weren't even around as the 88 strike. A lot of them probably but weren't they, even born. But they're getting, they're getting the benefits. Right. Yeah. And they should be out there, you know, really slugging away, hanging in. Okay? Absolute pleasure. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very okay. much. So that's the